What's up, everyone? Hopefully it's not too noisy. We are going to be doing a... We have a Ryzen 3 3300X here that is mining on Raptorium. Getting almost one kilo hash. The only problem that we've got is I've never changed anything inside the motherboard, the BIOS, and it is running a little warm. Let's come over here to our workstation piece. You'll see here it's running at 73 degrees. It's at 9.36 hash, and it's been doing pretty good for a Ryzen 3. I can't complain. Let's see, where is it down here? It is Giganto. But that's its average. That's what it's getting. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's not Giganto. That one's the NVIDIA rig. Uh, so there it is. 951.92. Which isn't too bad, I believe that's 23 megahertz RAM that's in there. There's no overclocks on there. We did, however, do a tune on it when we first fired it up, but it's been running like that for a month and it hasn't burned down yet. We got two PCI splitters on there. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to power everything down. This board doesn't have, this is an ASRock B450. It doesn't have onboard video and neither does the processor. So we're gonna have to boot everything down and we're gonna have to hook a, hook a uh, HDMI cable up to one of our GPUs. So what I did is I went ahead and set myself up a riser. I'm gonna use a separate GPU. I'm gonna leave those just as they are because if we don't, then I have to go back in and redo all my overclocks. So we'll get this old bad dude right here mounted in there as its only GPU. Get an HDMI hooked up and then we'll get into the BIOS and see what we got. I have not played around in any ASRock BIOSes. So what we're gonna do is undervolt it and try to overclock it, do a full tune on it, and see what happens. Uh, maybe we'll save power and, and gain a little bit of hash rate. We'll be back. Alright guys, and we're back. <clears throat> so here's what we got. We went into the overclock mode bus speed, we changed it to manual. BCLK. We left on auto. We'll see here. Well, maybe we should change this. It says it'll affect other components. Yeah, we'll leave it on auto. CPU frequency voltage we changed to manual. Uh, the frequency was at 3800. We changed it to 3900. We're gonna overclock just a little bit. Uh, the voltage was at 1.1. We changed it to 1.0. SOC voltage VID was at 1.1. We changed to 1.0. Let's see the SOC overclock mode. We disabled. Mm, I'm wondering if we should enable that. But we don't have integrated graphics, so I'm not sure that that's good. They mentioned something about that there. So we'll leave that at disabled. We turned on our XMP profile. This has got DDR4 2400. We left it at 1.2 volts. So let's go ahead. We're going to hit the uh, F10 to save and exit. We're gonna let it. Oh, I got some GPUs hooked up there. All right, so what we'll do is we'll hook our GPUs back up and see if we can get booted up into high, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back up in high, and we are running. Now you have to go in and do it, force it to do a full team. Just because there's a tune in there, it won't use the same tune. 
or it can't use the same tune. It'll try to, but we're going to go in here to our Raptorium flight sheet. That it. And right in here where it says config override, I'm just going to copy and paste it because I've already made myself a shortcut, but I will post this in the video description below. Anytime that you change anything, overclocks, hardware, or anything like that, you're going to want to do a full tune. And then when your full tune's done and you're up actually up and mining, you're going to want to shut down your miner. And go in, or before you shut down your miner, you want to go in here. That's the key. Before you shut down your miner, go in here and take this back out. And then apply changes and resend the flight sheet. Because if you have a power outage or anything happens, it's automatically going to, since you're forcing it, every single time you shut it down and you open it back up, it'll go through that full 115 minute tune and you don't want to be doing that. So, again, we're going to force the tune. So apply changes. Update. We want it to apply to just workers, just this worker. Alright, so now what we should see, when it starts turning, tuning, you'll see an MA up here in all the cores. The one thing that I noticed immediately is you see the temperature change. I know that we just started mining, but those temperatures were staying there pretty much, pretty much all the time. So there it is. It's now in tuning mode. Let's let it do its tune. We're going to let it run overnight, see if it increased anything for us. We'll be back tomorrow. Alright everyone, we are back. Let's start to go over some things and see what we've got. So it's been almost 24 hours. And I want to say what a difference. If you look up here at our temperatures, you notice no more 74, 75 degrees. There were some times where I seen it as high as 78. And... I believe by dropping down to that one volt and undervolting it, we made it run a lot more efficient. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty big difference. And if you notice, nothing's in the red and we don't have any overheating. So right now it's mining at 1.336. Of course, like I said before, this changes all the time. It's up and down. But what I found intriguing is this morning when i woke up i came and i i checked it out and it was over 1.09 on the pool so i am definitely going to call this a success i did also notice on the pool today that i'm mining on again this is the 011 data raptorium pool i like this pool because your payouts are 500 raptorium um, if you've only got one CPU and an older CPU or something like that, and you're mining on it, it's probably not the pool for you. Um, cause you're going to want those payouts a lot sooner than that, but we're averaging right now about 1200 Raptorium a day. So if you look down here on our NVIDIA rig, that's the rig that we have this on. It's at 8.69.56. However, the difficulty increased a ton this morning. Okay, so that's how that started dropping. What I've noticed about these pools and how they work, the more the difficulty increases, the harder it is. Obviously, the lower this number will drop. But this is a pretty good average. I'm really, really happy with this. And I think what I want to do in our next test for this rig, now I want everybody to keep in mind that this rig is mining with gpus on it also i don't know what this thing would do on its own 
but I'd be curious to find out. However, I don't want to take my my GPUs off the, to find out. Um, we got a 3070 on there, a 3080, 3070 Ti, and a 3090, and so I don't I don't want to take those down uh, to find out what it's going to do by itself, especially over 24 hours. That could be a good chunk of money there. Um, but if you've got one of these 3300Xs laying around, I highly recommend it. Or if you're already mining on it, man, throw that thing on there. Because, I mean, if you look at the profitability right now um, for one kilo of hash, it's at $1.19 a day. Yesterday, it was at $1.50. So, I mean, you could be anywhere from 30 to $60 a month mining on your cpu while you're mining with your gpus that's a huge increase um, if you compare that difference to uh, say mining monero or something uh i don't know you i think maybe you might get 20 cents a day or something like that you know so that's a huge difference that's what i'm you know that, that's what's making raptorium so awesome right now uh, some good profits you know if you if you're mining 10 kilo hash you're at 1328 a day that's that's pretty profitable and that's that's actually running with some cpus or gpus out there that's that's pretty big so i think what we'll do if anybody would like to in our next video here uh, i would love it if you count if you comment and subscribe um, let's keep it nice this is my first video i do have another video coming that i'm working on um, it's a it's a long-term video it's gonna take a lot of work um in that video i'm actually if you look uh down here this is my colossus rig this is a 5950x and what i am doing is i am overclocking this thing with a test with ram with the xmp profile turned on i want to see what it'll do um overclocked i believe i got it set at 4200 right now but that's an upcoming video that that's taking me days to complete because I want to run it with different RAM over 24 hours to actually get a, a real average. That's the problem that we have when we're mining with it in Hive OS. We can't go do benchmark tests or any of that stuff. Um, I do have on my uh, PC here, this is a 5900X. I don't think it's running very efficient right now. Um, my workstation here, that is a 3900X. And I think it's doing pretty well for what I do to this thing. Um, this thing's doing rendering, all kinds of stuff. So that's that's absolutely huge for what I throw at this thing. Um, Giganto, this is just a lonely old i7. Let me let's go look in or i5. Let's see what exactly that is. And I've got it on a rig that is mining um, Ethereum with 6600 XTs. So we got eight 6600 XTs on that thing. And that is an Intel Core i5-7500. I have had no problems out of this thing. I don't, um, I haven't messed around with a lot of the uh, Intel stuff. I don't know, you know, I mean, if you look at the profitability of this and I have no overclocks or anything special in that thing um it's you know it's averaging 3.13 if we go over here and look at our profitability for something like that let's just say it's i don't know let's give it 0.5 let's say we can get it up to a half you're looking at 66 cents a day you know um hey, that's an extra 15 bucks a month if that's pretty good uh, you know, that's not too bad. We will, uh, in fact, I may get into that rig and we may play around, maybe throw some different RAM at it and see what it, see what it's, it could possibly get up to. Um, but, uh, I think that's going to be a wrap. Um, I think the, the shocking result here is, is definitely the fact that look at that temperature change. That's huge, and I'm sure it's drawing drawing less watts at the wall. And I wished I would have hooked a meter up to it. I, I completely forgot. Um, but 
next time I, I won't forget to do that. If you like everything that you've seen here today, please comment, subscribe, and be on the out uh, lookout for some uh, new videos. Like I said, if you guys want to see this thing with, uh, I don't know, maybe some CL14 3400 or 3600 RAM, um, I do have, I just got some new RAM in today. I got the Trident Neo. I've got some Rip Jaws RAM that's CL16. And I believe I have, let me see what that is real quick. I think I've got, we've got the Flare X, CL16, um, 3200. We could try on it. Let me know what you'd like to see on there. We'll give it a shot. All right, guys, that's it for today. I appreciate everyone watching. Got any questions, any comments that you can uh, even help me out here? This channel is going to be all about learning. Uh, that's what I want to do. I want to learn through experiments, you know, um, see what happens. I'm not afraid to throw anything out there. And, and if it can improve the community as a whole, I'm for it. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.